is just going to be a quick video to do my June, yeah, June um, wrap up. God, we're in July already. Um, June wrap up and a book haul that I did recently from the book uh, bookpeople.co.uk. Um, so first off with my June wrap up, I read three books. Um, I moved house this month as well, so that's why I didn't get around to reading too much. But first off, I read Angel Fall by Susan E. Um, this has been getting quite a lot of hype recently. Um, and I did really enjoy the book. I think I gave it three and a half or, uh, out of five stars. Definitely check it out. It's worth a read. It's a bit different. Um, but I'm really annoyed at the minute because I read it when we had really nice weather, the really nice sunny weather, which is very rare for the UK. I think we've had our summer. Um, but I read in the sun and I think it melted um, in the spine because now some of my pages are falling out. So yeah, I'm really annoyed about that. But um, anyway, definitely check it out. It's worth a read. Um, the next book, I didn't, I didn't actually finish well c complete the entire thing in June because if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that this book has been on half since about Easter. Um, but I finally finished Rebel Heart by Moira Young, which is the second in the Dustlands trilogy, I think it is, following Blood Red Road. And I really enjoyed this. I gave this four or five stars. Um, so yeah, I finally finished that. And then the next one's a bit of a cheap book. It's a kids book, but. Um, I found it fantastic, 5 out of 5 stars for Goosebumps, and it's the second one, Say Cheese and Die. Um, I have the entire series up on my shelf over there, um, and I plan to sort of get through the entire thing this year. But yeah, fantastic reminiscence of my childhood, 5 out of 5. <laughs> so then, on to the book haul that I recently did from the bookpeople.co.uk. Um, you've heard me talk about it before, but definitely, definitely check it out. It's fantastic. They're constantly updating their lists of books they have, and they're always getting more recent books. Um, so the first set that I got is this wonderful Roald Dahl set. It's got 15 books. Um, it's got all the classics, you know, like Matilda, James and the Giant Peach, um, Charlie the Chocolate Factory, The Witches. Um, and I think it was only about £15, £15, £16, and they've just come back in stock on their site as well. So definitely go and check that out. You get this lovely little presentation case in it as well. Um, so yeah, that's reminiscence of my childhood again. It's fantastic, I love it. And then, let's see, I got Breathe by Sarah Crossan. And this has been on my wish list for ages, and I know people have said good things about this. I'm excited to get to that. As with most of the books that I actually. Um, next I got Across the Universe by Beth Revis. And I was going to wait and get the set in hardback until the whole controversy with the cover change for the last book. So I thought, oh, great, I'll just get this one. Um, and it's pretty cheap, like I said. I think they're all but 3 49 on this side. You know, you can't go wrong. Um, next, <laughs> I'm late jumping on this bandwagon as well. But I finally did it when I saw that they had both the books on the site, and that is Cinder and Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. And I've heard fantastic things about Cinder and Scarlet, so I really, you know, I can't wait. The fairy tale retellings of um, Cinderella, obviously, and I can't wait to get onto these. Next is another book that's been absolutely raved about, and it sounds fantastic, and it's Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. And um, yeah, when I saw it out this, I had to snap it up straight away. It's it sounds fantastic, so excited to get into that one as well. The next one I haven't heard too many things about, but I've seen around a lot recently. Um, so when they had it on the website, I, I picked it up. And it's Dance of Shadows by Yelena Black, and it sounds really good. And I'm really intrigued by this cover because it says it's one of those interactive covers, and you can, um, it says, Watch the dance come alive. Um, so that'll be quite interesting. I'll let you know how I go on with that. Next, I've heard this about this book on a couple of, of sites, and some good things, some bad things, um, but it sounds quite intriguing, and that is Level 2 by Lenore Appelhans. Um, so that sounds quite interesting. Um, we'll get onto that pretty soon, I think. The next one I'm really excited about, and that is Prodigy by Marie Lou, which is the second um, in the Legend trilogy. And I loved Legend, it was really, really good, 5 out of 5, so I'm really excited to carry on with that. Oh, and finally, I got a set. Um, it's Scott Westerfeld's Leviathan and Behemoth. And I've heard nothing but good things about these, and I know the Readables recently did um, 
rereads of these and they said they're really good so I'm excited to get onto those. And I think that's that wraps up my sort of my haul. I have some more books that I've hauled recently well I've a lot of books that I've hauled recently that I haven't shown. Um I did a charity haul recently, um, but they're at the new house. Um and I'm currently at my mother's house and it's very confusing. I have lost I, I live in several different places. Um but I'm there this weekend so hopefully I'll be able to get that haul put up. But until then, I think that wraps everything up. I hope you've all had a fantastic reading month in June, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!